The autofill handle is a nice feature that will help you create your spreadsheets. For example, let's say that I want to go beyond just the uh, four months here. I want to go out to April, May, June, July. All I have to do is click inside the cell here. And remember, we talked about the three different icons. There's the white cross. Hover over the border, you get the four-way arrow. And then you go to the lower right-hand corner where that little black dot is, or square, and you get the black cross here. Well, the black cross is the autofill handle. Whenever you see that, you can click and drag. And in this case, it's going to go over to May, June, July. In fact, I'm going to go all the way over to, you see how I clicked and drag, and all of a sudden it wanted to shoot over really fast? You want to be slow. I'm still holding the mouse button down. And I'm going to go over to the column N as a Nancy here and let go. And then I can scroll back, and you can see it automatically filled in the rest of the months. And I can do the same thing. And you'll notice that totals is there. Well, if I click and drag the autofill over it, it just plows over it and overwrites it. And then let go. A few other features about the autofill, some of which will go on a little bit later on, that will be very, very helpful, is that you can actually type in the number 1 here, and then autofill that all the way down. It goes 1, 1, 1. Type in 1, enter, 2, enter, and then select both of them by clicking and dragging. Now some people get confused when they see a white box in the top portion and the colored box in the lower one, they think that they didn't select it. Well, look at the black border. You selected both cells. It just means that your primary focus right now is on one. If I hit enter on the keyboard, now the focus is on two, meaning that I can go ahead and type in that cell and hit enter, and it goes back up to one. Type in that cell, hit enter, it goes back down to two here, or the, the second cell with the number three in it. So I'm going to go back and type in 1, hit enter, type in 2, and hit enter, and it stays within that range that I have selected. Now, if I click and drag that autofill handle, it's going to notice a sequence or a pattern. And again, Excel loves logic. So when I click and drag, it goes to 3, 4, 5, and 6. By the same token, I could do something fancy. I could start, let's say, at number 7, and let's do 10. Now, what do you think this series is going to be? So I'll select it, click and drag the autofill, and it goes every 3 because the difference between 7 and 10 is 3 and so Excel assumes that you want to go every 3. Now what about names or simple text? Kurt and maybe I want to autofill that and it continues just basically copying and, and repeating that cell. I'll click and drag to highlight it, delete it, and control home. Now one side note, that this isn't all that autofill does. It actually will autofill in formulas for you. For example, if we total up this range here and it gives us a total, we can autofill the rest and automatically will look up to the next range and give us a total. The next range give us a total. But we're not going to do it here because we haven't covered some basic mathematic functions. So keep an eye on that when we go to formulas and we'll show you how to do in some autofilling.